little stout. Boy and a girl. Oh, look at the mouth, George. What a riot. <laughs> Whether we realize it or not, where we come from, the people we choose to spend our time with, the experiences we are a part of, the accomplishments and the decisions that seem like mistakes, they all inevitably shape the people we become. Say hi. <laughs> all my life, I've been chasing one thing. I want to tell stories, make movies. That's that, stories, stories. The thing is, a great story has the power to change your life. And here's one that changed mine. Three days before our first date, my husband's father passed away unexpectedly, before I ever got the chance to meet him. Inevitably, I'll always wonder what parts of him are also parts of Mark. And then we got married, and we got our wedding video back. And Mark's mom said to us, how Mark's dancing, that's how his father used to dance. Just like that, I realized I was never just chasing stories. I was chasing people. I was chasing the way we laugh, the way we dance, the shapes of our hands, the forms of affection that we call our own. Because whether we realize it or not, where we come from, the people we choose to spend our time with, the experiences we're a part of, the accomplishments and the decisions that seem like mistakes, well, they all inevitably shape the people we become. And when it's over, at the end of this beautiful thing called life, all we really have left are memories. And I don't know about you, but I want them to be real. I'm already fucking crying. I want them to feel like me and look like me and laugh like me. I want them to be awkward and messy and charmingly imperfect. When it's all over, I want people to understand who we loved and where we came from and the things that made us beautiful. I want people we don't even know to have a chance to fall in love with us when we're long gone. So to us, these aren't just wedding films. These are time machines.